Now I must say, I've always been a bit of an AIO user of late with my PC builds. Now generally I use Corsair coolers and in my life they've worked well for me, keeping my CPU cool when needed and usually looking quite smart in my rig. However, I have got the chance to check out the Deepcool AK620, which is an air cooler complete with a large radiator and two fans, and that's pretty much it. One cable that plugs into your motherboard and the installation is a simple process too. It's a bit of a hulk of a cooler, but I must say it does look really smart as well. The Deepcool AK620 isn't the smallest CPU cooler out there. Its complete measurements come in at 129 by 138 by 160 millimeters, and the heatsink itself is slightly smaller than that. It comes with two 120 millimeter fans in the box, which are pretty silent when running and even when under load, and there's no RGB here either. It's a pure white cooler that doesn't mess around. It weighs in at around 1.46 kilograms, which is pretty decent, and it's held very steady in my rig here. The cooler requires two four pin PWM connectors, which you can generally find on your motherboard. I do have two here, but if you do only have the single fan header on your motherboard, there is a splitter in the box so you can plug the two fans into a single fan header, which is very handy. I will say now that you'll need around 160 millimeter of height clearance inside of your case and also 43 millimeter of RAM clearance. I've currently got the Deepcool AK620 on my AMD Ryzen 7 5800X processor, though you do get a decent number of fittings in the box for your Intel 1700, 1200, 1151, 1150, 1155, 2066 and 2011 and also 2011 v3. You've also got your fittings for your AM4 and AM5 on your AMD side of things which makes the CPU cooler pretty versatile. It does come with a smidge of CPU thermal paste as well so you're good and geared to go as soon as you open the box. But being a CPU cooler nothing is worth it until you know how cool it can keep your CPU right and I must say even though I don't really dabble with any kind of real overclocking outside my motherboard performance modes the cooling capabilities of this AK620 is great. Now the idle temps when my PC was just sitting there really doing nothing, it managed an average temperature of around 51.4 degrees with a low of 45.5 degrees. Running a Cinebench benchmark, a single core test gave me an average temperature of 68.9 degrees, though it did run up to 72.5 degrees high and running a multi-core test, this is where we saw the cooler get put through its paces. It was running an average temperature of 90 degrees with a high of 90.3 degrees. Now of course you're not going to be constantly pounding your CPU like this, hence it being a benchmark test, but it is good to know that it wasn't throttling for a sustained amount of time. And to be honest with you, I was actually impressed with the AK620 and how it performed, even when playing games as well. The Deepcool AK620 is a decent looking cooler for sure that performed really well for what I needed. I've got a white one here, but it does come in black as well. And there's also their deep black model that is also available. I bought mine from Amazon and it sent me back around 60 pounds. Now there are cheaper air coolers out there for sure, but 60 pounds for a decent looking cooler is a nice price. Thank you very much for checking out my video review of the Deepcore AK620 CPU cooler. If you did enjoy this video, please hit that like button, subscribe to keep up with our latest tech and gaming videos, and also let us know in the comments down below what you think about the Deepcore AK620. Would you have one in your rig? Have you got one in your rig? And how impressed are you with its performance? As I say, thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.